Jesus freak here. Now I've mentioned um, Gideon ESV before. You can tell a Gideon ESV from uh, other Gideon Bibles because of the style of the cover is a little bit different, different font. Now most uh, Gideon Bibles are either King James or New King James, but uh, some years ago Harper Collins withdrew the license for the Gideons to use the New King James, so they were scrambling to find a, a version that fit their needs. So they asked for us, right? And, and on the copyright page, this says, At the request of the Gideons, and in appreciation for their worldwide century-plus distribution of more than 1.8 billion Bibles, Crossway is pleased to license the ESV Bible text to the Gideons and to grant permission to the Gideons to include certain alternative readings based on the Textus Receptus for exclusive free distribution of a Gideon's edition as follows. Bible translations of the New Testament into English and other languages are almost exclusively based on either A, the Greek Textus Receptus manuscript tradition, which was the basis for the 1611 translation of the KJV Bible, or B, the Greek NAUBS manuscript corpus, which is the basis for almost all Bible translations completed since the late 1800s. <laughs> In some places in the New Testament of the ESV Gideon's edition, as printed and distributed exclusively under license to the Gideon's International, the Gideon's edition follows the Textus Receptus manuscript tradition, which corresponds in the vast majority of instances to the corpus of New Testament Greek manuscripts known among scholars today as the majority text. And there's a dual logo at the bottom, the Gideon logo and the ESV logo. And it looks like, you know, your typical verse-by-verse -verse ESV. black letter and stuff. Now, not in every area did they conform it to the Textus Receptus. But in certain important places, they did. For example, well, one of the most important points here Acts 8.37. What I think they did is where there was um, a verse missing, they'd conform it to the uh, Textus Receptus. Because there are some places that still maintain Alexandrian readings. So what you have is kind of a mutant freak. It doesn't, for what it's worth, have the comma Johanni. Now, it is mostly an um, Alexandrian text type, and does have readings that you wouldn't find if it were fully conformed to the Textus Receptus or to the Byzantine text. But 
it's an improvement. I think in an earlier video I went over this in somewhat more detail. They have a New Testament slash Psalms and Proverbs editions to pocket Bibles. They too look slightly different than the older ones because the fonts are different. And that's how you can tell, you know, ESV Gideon Bibles from uh, their older ones at a glance. Now, Gideon Bibles in general are bare bones. They don't have footnotes or anything. And, you know, that can be a mixed bag. I think for the purposes that they're distributed, it's better that they're free of notes. Jesus freak out. 